All right, time for a team 3134 and 3275 week five update. Sorry about missing week four. I was busy, you were busy, everybody's busy. So here's what we got going on with the 3134 machine. On a Sunday, got everything sloppily wired, but functional. Yeah, what a mess. Um, we have a Falcon with a 125 to 1 shaft drive to a 90 degree. That is our wrist to make it go up and down. Um, we have two Falcons running our wheels in and out. Two one inch pneumatic cylinders to clamp. We have a Falcon with a two fours there. Um, that is our in and out on our, shut it off here so I can move it. That is our in and out. Still can't move it. Nope. <laughs> um, but that'll bring the arm in and out. And then, lastly, we have uh, I guess a 20 to 1 down at the bottom here um, for our elevator up and down. We have a couple, I believe they're 40 pound constant force springs to help that out. All of our wires for our moving bits, the wrist, the arm, the wheels, and such run over the back of the sliding part of the elevator into this gigantic drag chain up to the top, back down the side, and into our power distribution stuff. Swerve drive seems to be working again with the code update. Now it's just kind of tweaking PID values and set points for this machine. Well, on the other side of the shop, we've had a couple boys in. Not quite as hardcore as our girls at the moment. But we do have our EveryBot intake going. We're on a 775 on that instead of a Neil. The 90 degree gearbox. I don't know what we got in there. 9 to 1? 7 to 1? 9 to 1, I think. That seems like it works pretty good. Um, we got our polycarbonate stuff here, so it goes out. And it goes back in. We're going to hook the chain up to that. We got our, our uh, Falcon with a stack of gears there through a 90 degree. And that's going to control the in and out motion of that arm. Um, again, this is driving. The chassis is driving. Um, so we have our um, brushless motors down there on the gearbox. And then instead of having that stack of weights that the Everybot had, we cut a solid steel belly pan, um, which itself weighs quite a bit so hopefully that keeps our center of gravity low and allows us to do what we need to do with this machine uh, the programming for this one is kind of already there uh, except we have to convert that over to the CTRE VEX ecosystem instead of I'm not sure what they were using I think they're using spark maxes but there's the two robots end of week four late Sunday evening. The super pit is coming along. We have some stuff labeled. We have our boxes up there labeled. We have things that hold our boxes in when it folds down. We still need to make the cover that goes over the front of the toolbox there when it all collapses. 
but and that's just one team we have to make another identical one for the boys team I think first thing we need to do tomorrow when practice starts is a little bit of cleanup but there's our update for week five hope everybody's doing well and we'll see you next week we have our week zero competition so I'll take some video of that and post that it won't be just our teams it'll be a bunch of teams I hope to get some video of we'll see you then